My name is uh, Robert M. Springer, Jr., and I'm a retired Army Colonel 06. And that was the last of my, uh, well, finally I was evacuated on a, a hospital ship to Japan and at, at Incheon. And uh, I was lifted from the shore to the hospital ship in a bosun's chair, which is pretty exciting. And uh, they had, uh, there were newspaper photographers and uh, newsreel from, uh, was it Pathé News? One of the news programs. Anyway, they were taking pictures of us in the bosun's chairs being taken out to the ship. And they, those were all in the movies back home, so people started writing me saying they have seen me go to the hospital ship. So that was, then getting on the hospital ship was really wonderful because uh, the Navy had, uh, you know, really good, good facilities and everything was clean. And the tablecloths, the silver, <laughs> and hot food. So it was really good. <laughs> and we were well treated by the Navy. And uh, so eventually when I finally got out of the hospital and reassigned to a unit in Japan, and uh, they said I was, that was the end of my combat tour, so uh, I stayed in Japan for uh, actually three years after that. And, uh, and as, as a, a assistant army attaché, a language and area student, and then the army sent me to Stanford uh, for a year, for a master's degree. And then I was sent to the Pentagon, where I met my wife. Uh, and I had the usual troop assignments uh, for and so forth, until uh, finally uh, we went to Hawaii on one assignment with the uh, 25th Infantry Division. And I had another Pentagon assignment, then the Vietnam War broke out. Well, I've been there before, so I, I wasn't surprised. Everything looked uh, just as you expected. The first time I went there was, I <coughs> see, it was the early 1960s, before we had troops there. And there, at that time, it was a little bit more exotic because uh, I saw a lot of troops at the airfield, but there were Senegalese part of the French Army, French Foreign Legion troops, French Army troops, and then I came back a few years later and they were Americans. So I felt more at home the second time. But it was interesting seeing the Senegalese because I've never seen them. I think by that time uh, the French had lost, there was a sign that read about the 17th parallel, but they all had evacuated. And, um, so there were still French people there, a lot of French people. And um, one thing we did was we went to a, it was pretty interesting, I went to an old uh, French Foreign Legion outpost, which had been evacuated recently. And uh, it was interesting because it was just like that movie Bo Beaugest, I don't know if you saw Beaugest, it was about the French Foreign Legion in Africa. It was a stockade kind of a place, like you know, cowboy and Indian movies, and uh, it uh, it had a central compound of parade ground, but with, with uh, these uh, wooden stakes all around it, and uh, that went where the French Foreign Legion had been. It was right in Viet Cong territory. It was an outpost of the French Foreign Legion. <coughs> I don't think it had ever been taken. So it was, very, it was, it was exotic in some ways. Uh, and uh, the French, uh, there are still a lot of French restaurants, uh, which were really excellent. And they still had, uh, in Vietnam there is a highlands area where there's a mountain resort. And 
and uh, there's still French people going there. And they, I think they still had uh, rubber plantations there. Uh, so there was a lot of still French influence. 